Hello team, Coach Tim here. We have a new number one player in the world, Scotty Scheffler. And uh, uh, I'm so impressed with how he's been playing over the last, uh, really boy, probably half a year to a year. But then uh, just even as of late, he's just reached a, a new level. And you know, so many people are focusing on Scotty's footwork. Uh, um, and it is very unique, you know, how he uh, has massive amounts of vertical forces jumping away from the golf ball on his downswing. We may take a look at that later in the year, just to uh, uh, dive a little bit deeper into his into his golf swing. But what I want to try and focus on today is uh, his short shots. And Scotty is the number one ranked player on the PGA Tour this year from a strokes gains perspective for short shots off the fin off the French. So let's see what he does so special and see if it can impact our game as well. So here's a wonderful example of watching Scotty hit a golf shot from that short fringe area. And you'll see, of course, that he does a wonderful job of pulling the shot out. Now, this was actually a couple of weeks ago during the Arnold Palmer uh, Invitational. And uh, um, this is a skill that he is just absolutely kicking hiney at uh, on the PGA Tour at this moment in time. So the concept that uh, I think is so important for us to understand for uh, golfers at elite level with short shots, they just have unbelievable control of the bottom of the swing circle, the bottom of their arc. And being able to do that at a slow speed, that's what's so impressive about uh, a PGA Touring Professionals short games, is that they never seem to skull the golf ball. They never seem uh, to be able to chunk a golf shot. And that's because they have great low point control. And if we watch Scotty take a golf shot right here, you can see that his golf club stays primarily above his initial shaft line at the address position. And I think there's a really important reason that he does this. He's kind of allowing gravity to be his best friend to execute this golf shot. Uh, and when we take a look, a when we take a look at here at this next clip, you're going to start to see and understand why. So here I am demonstrating gravity with a shaft that's perpendicular to the ground. That's basically trying to allow gravity to be utilized at its most instinctive uh, uh, movement here on the planet Earth, right? When the shaft is perpendicular to the ground, gravity is going to make that low point consistent. It's also going to make uh, the speed of the golf club consistent too. Now, what I want you to see, obviously, we never play uh, uh, on the game of golf, uh, most of our chip shots, from uh, this specific plane. We play it from much more of a golf-oriented plane, which you're going to see here in another second. So if I go ahead and swing the golf club back and then just let gravity take over, look how that golf club finished farther behind my right foot as well as got much more uh, more vertical compared to the initial shaft plane at the address position. That's how gravity should respond to that set of circumstances. So if any of us golfers have a hard time of hitting the golf ball a little bit too much grass early, uh, this could be an element that is making it hard for you to have a consistent bottom to your arc. On this example, you're going to see me swing the golf club much more vertically and you could probably see how the golf club actually worked significantly outside my hands very similar to what scotty was doing with his uh, golf swing now when i let gravity take over from here okay you can see how much closer the bottom of the arc is uh, to where my golf ball is that shape of swing matches up better to my bottom of my swing circle and the other element that I love so much about the fact of when my golf club is more vertical, it gives me a better chance of hitting the golf ball with a slightly open club face, which of course is something that we uh, all probably trying to do to hit golf shots that go a smaller and shorter distance, a slower distance. Okay. Now I did add just a little bit of body turn to be able to hit the right part of the golf ball here, but hopefully you see that gravity is the element that is primarily responsible for moving that golf ball, uh, that golf club more forward to have more proper, uh, uh, a more proper and solid impact. So give this exercise a go. Try and get a sense of what gravity is like as you're swinging the golf club. Try and swing the golf club with gravity to find the correct shape of your golf swing. 
uh, to be able to hit the right part of the uh, golf ball for yourself. And hopefully gravity will start to help you execute much better, softer, and slower golf shots around the greens. Best of luck.